everybody. My name is Allison. This is my first ever YouTube video. I am a full-time reseller and I only started about five months ago. So in August of 2020 during the pandemic, which I'm sure a lot of other people started during that time. Um, so I'm going to just bring you guys along for my journey. I go to a lot of Goodwills, a lot of consignment stores, and I do a lot of online and retail arbitrage. So I really hope you guys enjoy the content that I bring and the stuff I've got to show you. My very first haul is a consignment store haul, mostly from the wonderful Buffalo Exchange. If you've never been, you need to go now. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's jump into it. A little bit more about me and the clothes that I like and the type of reseller I am is I'm not really interested in the bread and butter, your Banana Republic or your Ann Taylor Loft, stuff like that. Nothing wrong with those at all, of course. I'm interested in the embroidery, the sequins, you know, the velvet, the beautiful brands, learning about these designers. I get excited about these things. And uh, what I have today is really an embarrassment of riches. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, first thing we have here, I think all resellers know this brand, new with tag, Everlane. There's the tag, if you don't know somehow, Everlane. So this is a direct-to-consumer brand. They're very sustainable. They definitely use a lot of natural fabrics, um, a lot of good workwear, a lot of kind of more basic pieces, but really nicely made. Um, and these are just some really cool uh, white kind of chino pants. I love how they do their pockets. If you can see, they kind of have like a square construction, kind of a bucket pocket. I love that with the high waist, of course. Normally, I don't love to pick up white jeans, white denim, because it just doesn't sell as well in my experience, and that makes sense. But I figured Everlane was kind of a better brand to do that with, because they're just kind of more streamlined, and I love this kind of straight slash kind of wide leg. And I did get this from a buy sell trade store, and they had it for a great price, basically a goodwill price. So I went ahead and picked it up. You know, Everlane doesn't retail for a ton, like some of these other denim brands do but they'll sell fast, and it's a great brand to have in your closet. Next one, and I am doing pants first. I have everything from pants to leggings, jackets, sweaters, dresses, and rompers, or jumpsuits. Next is a brand that I love so much. This brand is Mother. Not the best tag for you to see. You can see it says Mother. This is a very expensive denim brand. Um, their jeans retail in the 200s usually, so they resell great, especially new with tags. I've sold several new with tags mother jeans uh, that I've gotten from consignment stores. These are just a really cool kind of uh, frayed hem pant with flat pockets, and they have this really cool silver stripe down the side, and what's cool about it is it's not just like a fabric stripe. It actually looks like it was painted on. You can see how it looks kind of distressed in some places. So I thought that looked really awesome. So really cute. I love Mother. I don't own any myself, but that is definitely on my list. Next pair of jeans is a great brand. Very expensive. It is Frame. Frame Denim. And these, I'm honestly... Okay, I was gonna say I'm not sure if it's a French brand, um, but their tags say London and Los Angeles. The reason I thought that it might be French is because all of their jeans, um, the style names are kind of, see like this one is Le Skinny de Jean, or that's just me deciding how it's pronounced. But these had kind of a cool hem. I, I don't even know what you would call that, but it's like a step up. It's like the uh, front is longer than the back, and so I could really see someone wearing these with like heels. Or, I mean, I love to wear sneakers with like everything. Right now I'm wearing house shoes. Um, <laughs> but I just thought, I, ha I honestly haven't seen this kind of him before. And I thought that was really, really cool. Um, Frame is definitely another brand that they don't make a ton, or I don't see a ton of super high-waisted jeans. 
and it still sells. Uh, last time I had some frame jeans, they were actually a crop style, and they sold within like three days, I think, and I was very pleasantly surprised. So definitely check comps uh, when you see frame for a great price. Okay, that is it for the denim. We have a few pairs of pants. These are just pretty basic, nothing too exciting, but they are the brand Theory. If you don't know Theory, um, they are a very expensive kind of career wear brand for men and women. And this is not even the newest kind of tag for Theory. If you'll see the writing here. I believe the newer Theory tags um, are a sans serif print where these this is a serif print, but these were in great condition. This kind of uh, burgundy color, just career wear pant. Um, there definitely are some people still working and going to an office. I know like my sister is an engineer and they've been having to go to their office during these times. So, but people are still working. It does happen. Not just everybody gets to just go on Zoom meetings at home and not wear pants. Sometimes you gotta have pants. So I also got these for a great price. Um, I'm hoping to sell these for at least 50 for sure. Okay, next. This is kind of, I don't find this brand much, but this was for a great price. It was new with tag. And if you can't tell by now, this lovely reflection you're seeing is an all over sequin. They are a flare leg, no big deal. And the brand is Lovers and Friends. Dun, 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 dun. So, like I said, great flare is really coming back. Uh, if you find a pair of jeans that are just like, bam, huge flare, definitely check comps if it's a good brand. Flare is really coming back, which I like that trend a lot more than uh, the low-waisted trend. These are really cute. Um, they did have... You know, not super surprising. They did have some wear with the sequins. There are some sequins missing from right here in between the legs. And I thought about it, but for the price, I was like, hey, listen, do we really want the sequins right there? Let's do the buyer a favor and just go ahead and have them missing so that their thighs don't rub together with the sequins. So I'm fine with it. Okay, next. Guys, I have never found this brand before. I, th this was one of those brands where, you know, when you're in the store, you're flipping through the clothes, you're like, my back hurts, ah, this is like, come on, where's the good stuff? And then you see something that's so good, and it's so good that it makes you go, like, am I on punk right now, or something? The brand, and I don't know if you know this logo, do you know this logo? This brand is called Aviator Nation and if you haven't heard of it do yourself a favor and go to Poshmark right now and go to Aviator Nation and just look at solds or look at available everything is so expensive with this brand it is crazy and right now you know I think they specialize in like swimsuits or like sweatpants they have this great signature kind of rainbow stripe kind of like if you imagine an adidas stripe but it's just rainbow colored um so basically these are just some leggings that they kind of took the colors of that rainbow just put them in a botanical print how cute is that so i kind of did a mini little freak out when i saw these aviator nation i never thought i would be lucky enough i'm not sure who would just give these away well not give them away but you don't get paid very much at a consignment store and these were a pretty dang good price. So I was like, I can, I can die happy now today. I've done my job. I've gotten Aviator Nation. I'm going to flip this for some money. <laughs> okay, next. You probably know this brand as well. We love it. Um, they do have a headquarters here in Austin. And that brand, I'll just show you the little inside tag here if you can see it, is Outdoor Voices, which you, you can't help but love. And my favorite part of this brand, which I guess I'm kind of weird, but is the font. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a fool for this font. I, I don't know what it is about it. I, I want to download it on my computer and just have it 
for everything when I type, like no matter what I do. I just love that font. And I knew these were maybe a little bit more special because they had this waistband uh, with the kind of logo along the waistband. Usually outdoor voices, leggings just have, uh, you know, they never have a tag. They always just have, where did it go? Oh, it was on the other side. They always just have kind of this tag, quote unquote, on the inside and then the fabric right here. So, and they're also, um, I think, believe this is called the Terra Knit uh, Legging because the pattern is supposed to look like a mountain range. You can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. Um, and these are knit, so they are marketed for winter. They're supposed to be a little warmer for outdoors uh, in cold weather. So these are kind of like a gold. I believe the color is almond. Um, and these are already listed on my Poshmark, so that's great. If you, maybe you see these and you already know where I'm going. If you were to ask me, based on your admittedly, admittedly limited experience with reselling, what is like the one brand that you wish you could find every time you go thrifting that you know is gonna get you a fast return for good profit? I would say, oh, no problem. That would be Spanx faux leather leggings like instantly I wouldn't even hesitate so I've only sold two pairs of these before and both times literally I think it was either one day or two days they sold um, you know and I'll just be honest I think I got them uh, both times at a Goodwill they were both I think one time I got them for like eight dollars and the other time was like thirteen dollars maybe and both times I sold them for over sixty dollars and the important part too is that it was literally two days later this is so on trend right now, it's crazy. So I have an extra small here, which I'm fine with because I've, I've never sold an extra small one of these before. I, I'm sure it'll still do great. Um, and then this one, oh, and I forgot to show you the tag. And this one is a large, so I'm sure it's gonna go really fast. So if you see this kind of skinny red tag with Spanx, and yeah, the faux leather is really on trend right now, but even if you see like work pants or even like jeans and they're in good condition for a good price from Spanx uh, or just shapewear I would definitely still get that for sure comfortable clothes that make us look good 2020 next is my only top I don't really focus on tops much uh, because the return is usually obviously not as great as it will be for dresses especially maxi dresses uh, or pants but this I couldn't pass up. It was so cute. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg DVF. Uh, I know Jack and Ryan. Um, if you know them, I'll link their channel down below. They call it uh, Diane Von Surf and Turf, uh, which I think is funny. Um, but anyway, this is like an asymmetrical. If you see this side has a strap and then this hangs off the shoulder while the other side is your typical tank strap and it's got this great sheer with velvet polka dots whoa you see these polka dots are all like a scruffy little velvet and i just love how that velvet reflects in the light so pretty so so pretty um so i just listed these the other day this the other day i love it so much and if you're still here, thank you so much. Um, hopefully you're enjoying these brands. And trust me, we still have so, we have not gotten to the best stuff yet. Now this, I'm gonna take a leap and say for me, this is probably the least exciting of this haul. And that is for two reasons. Well, really just one. And that is because it's a men's blazer. You know, of course, I thought it was women's, and I picked it up, which is fine. Men's stuff sells. I just can't get excited. I just don't get excited for it. I can't wear it. It, it. You're not gonna find something of men's that's like a floral embroidery, and that's not what I get excited about. But what I do love, and this J. Crew, by the way, it's a J. Crew men's blazer. It is called the Ludlow. And you can see this is a 36S short. Um, and by the way, if you don't know, which I guess it could be considered common sense, but I'm sure a lot of people don't know, is that the way to differentiate men from women on blazers and with pants really, 
is you'll see men's are going to be like 36 or 42 or something like that. Whereas women's, if it's not small, medium, large, it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Um, same with pants. If you see a pair of pants and it says 32 by 34, that's a men's size. Uh, so this is men's, but I just love how J. Crew does their blazers. They're so well made. The comps on this guy were actually really good. So I'm excited to get it on Poshmark. It's just a plain kind of plaid, no muss, no fuss blazer. What I love about J. Crew suiting is kind of all the work that they do on the insides here. I love, It reminds me of, you know, how you'll have like kind of... Uh, a wall in your home where you put a bunch of picture frames that kind of maybe don't go together at first but then you put them all together and it's like a collage and it just looks so good that kind of reminds me of I might be reaching but it reminds me of how they do the inside of their pockets you've got this little guy here you've got this one you got this one I mean this is why men don't need purses right I think I could fit all my belongings in here so I'm excited to get that one up and I just love the lining it's very soft and smooth. And of course, bucket pockets. Okay, next. Okay, this was a bubble brand for me. I honestly still don't know much about it. I know that they specialize in work from home pants. They make those kind of pants that are actually more like yoga pants, but they look like work pants. But this is a jacket, it's a coat. The brand is Beta Brand. I didn't really know they made coats and it is such a cute coat y'all it's just black it's longer it kind of goes down to my almost to my knees which is amazing it's got this big old hood that kind of comes out wide you know it's got this wide collar I love wide collars like that it also has these big snaps and I actually learned from Jack and Ryan's channel that big old buttons are in right now so this has them and this one I love it but it's not something that I buy very much and it's kind of a letdown because I just realized like the other day that there's supposed to be a hood attached here by these snaps and I bought it and I took the tags off before realizing that so anyway I still think it's really cool it is the brand Eddie Bauer and what is so cool about this? I believe it is vintage. Okay, first of all, check out this lining. So it's got the lavender, kind of like a muted lavender outside with this like mustard inside. Yes, please. Absolutely. And look at this tag. How like retro cool is that? I, I would love to see that every time that I put this jacket on. And it's not done either. It's got this. I mean, it's it's really marketing to you. Hey, I'm a good jacket. You should buy me. I'll keep you warm. And this one. How cool, right? Isn't that so cool? The lightest, warmest things on earth. No big deal. So it's just a really cool down jacket quilted in great condition except for the hood missing. It's got this cloth paneling on the sides. Eddie Bauer. And it is a size small. So hopefully nobody will really care too much that it doesn't have its hood. Hopefully. I don't think I would. Okay next. This was also, I don't know if I'd call it a bolo brand just because it is kind of you, I see it around. Um, I definitely see it and there's a, a store here in Austin where they sell it. Uh, the brand is Vince. Vince. So they make men's and women's clothes. I'm pretty sure. Um, but this was just this awesome leather jacket. Look at this. Look at the how the collar just flaps out like that. I'm not sure what it's called. But that is so cool. And it is made of lamb leather. And then the inside is 100% cotton. So lamb leather, um, that makes it even that much more classy. It's in great condition. I actually got this from um, a buy sell trade store here in Austin. Uh, I had traded in some clothes that I had found at the bins that I didn't want to sell. 
uh, traded those in, gave me a good amount for them, so I was able to get this for a cheaper price than what was on the tag. So, sorry that you can't see all of me here, but, like, I just became instantly, like, at least, like, 35% cooler uh, when I put this on. Um, like, more hip. Like, look at it. It's just really flattering. This is a size large, by the way. I usually wear a medium, but it's, this would be, like, the exact size that I would need, really. So, isn't it so cool? So, loved loved that that's a great investment piece for somebody um i really have to get the rest of these jackets listed before the winter season is over okay i love this brand so much uh this is a french brand it is called zadig and voltaire who knows how you actually pronounce it but in my texan american way that's how i pronounce it so this is a navy blue sweater. It is 100% cashmere. And then what makes it interesting is it's got these genuine lamb leather. I think it was lamb. It's definitely real leather, um, but it's these star, silver star patches. And they do make quite a few colorways in this sweater. I think I've seen like a pink sweater with red leather stars. This one happens to be the blue and silver, which I love. So here's there. And what I love about them also is that their tags just to give you the style name right there. So it says this is the CC Patch, 100% cashmere. Um, this the, this is the kind of thing that I would keep for myself in a heartbeat, but this brand is really expensive. Uh, my husband actually got me some glitter silver sneakers from this brand for Christmas that I've literally worn every day since I got them. Okay, this next one is another great brand that I was so excited to see. Um, I was at, I think, was it a pavement uh, buy sell trade store? And I was like, I told my husband I was gonna be home, that I was leaving, <laughs> but I, I really just wanted one more thing. So I was just flipping through the sweaters. Then I came across this tag. Rag and Bone. So when I first got into reselling, Rag and Bone was one of the brands that I learned about for denim, Rag and Bone jeans. But kind of the 411 on that is that a few years ago, Rag and Bone was it. It was legit um, for denim. It would sell really fast, all that. I've tried to sell Rag and Bone denim and it just meh, it just kind of sat there. It was stale. Uh, so, but. I know that their sweaters, especially, really sell great. This is a really cute, um, like a tan and red sweater, 100% wool, such quality on this. I love how it's like really texturized, like this part right here is really lifted up from the back. Uh, it's just so gorgeous. I held up, I looked at both sides, made sure there were no flaws, and I was like, okay, I can check out now. I found a rag and bone sweater. <sighs> and it's a size small. This is a brand that I never thought in my wildest dreams I would find. <sighs> but it was definitely another one of those situations where I looked around and made sure it wasn't being punked. Do you know this brand? It is called Acne Studios. And this is like a legit like runway brand. It's very expensive, very expensive. Uh, so I don't know what jabroni, you know, was like, I don't want my Acne Studio sweater anymore. Let me go consign it, you know, for 20 bucks or 18 bucks or whatever they got paid out for it. Uh, this sweater is called the Dramatic Mohair Sweater. They make it in many colors. This one just happens to be this kind of pastel, kind of not, kind of just a bright yellow. Um, and what's great about this color is that, uh, I don't know if you follow the Pantone, um, they're, <laughs> I'm gonna say they're a color company, but every year they come out with a new color of the year. And next year for 2021, uh, it's actually two colors. It is a yellow and a gray. I don't remember what the gray is called, but the yellow is called Illuminating. And that's pretty much exactly this color. So 
I don't know if anyone would be searching for that when they're looking for clothes, but I definitely added that in to use as a keyword. Illuminating Pantone Color of the Year 2021. Woo! So here it is, mohair. It's in great condition. Um, and when I looked at comps, there was not a single in all of the availables and all the solds that I saw of this dramatic mohair, not a single yellow. I didn't see one. So hopefully that will help me sell it for a good price. This was at a Goodwill um, where I was not having any luck and I was feeling down and I think I only got this and a couple more things. I think maybe like those frame jeans. Uh, so this is a texture and thread which is a brand by Madewell. And this is so cute. First of all, it is new with tag. And it's just a really, really cute navy and white and this like metallic bronze stripe color. And what I love about it is just that extra added um, detail is that the sleeves are wide. You know, they're like twice as wide as a normal sleeve. I don't know why, but I think that is so flattering. And it's also really comfortable to just have your arms in something wide like that. Um, you know, right now I can't complain because I've got my uh, silk Veronica beard, my favorite uh, embroidered top on right now, so I'm not complaining. But I love sweaters like this with the wide arm. I love it. And this is a size small. Okay, next up, speaking of Veronica beard, Veronica. Veronica! This is a Veronica beard. If you don't know this brand, I would be surprised. This is kind of like my day one boo. My, the brand that started everything. Um, I don't know why, but the stars just aligned in a way that this was the first brand that I sold um, in my reselling career, the last <laughs> four or five months, that I sold for over $100. I think uh, it was a blazer, which uh, they specialize in. If you don't know, uh, Veronica Beard is a company that was created by two sisters-in-law, and both of their names were Veronica Beard because they married brothers, and both of their names were Veronica. So they started a company called Veronica Beard, and how amazing is that? Um, but they specialize in blazers. So I've sold several of their blazers uh, for great markup, I still have several in my closet right now. I'm always looking out for uh, Veronica Beard blazers that I can buy for. If I can buy one for under 80, under 60 is really good, then I will usually buy it if it's a good style and flip it for at least 150, hopefully 250. Um, but this is a sweater. This is called the Rice, R-Y-C-E sweater. It is a cropped crew neck. And just look at this pattern. So on a cream background, it's just these multicolor flecks. It kind of reminds me of a back in elementary school when you would do an art project with the toothbrush dipped in paint and you would just fleck it at something, a piece of paper. Um, but it's so cute. And I believe it's 100% cotton. Yeah, 100% cotton, so that's great. A natural, breathable fabric, we love that and it is a medium, so I don't know why I'm not keeping it for myself. That's, uh, just don't think about it. Just don't think about it, we're gonna sell it. Just don't think about it. It's already listed, so can't go back now. Two hours later. So, it's about 30 minutes later. My iPhone ran out of memory, because I have a 32 gigabyte iPhone. So, anyway, this uh, video is brought to you by Irish Coffee. Which has whiskey. So, let's continue because I was at my favorite thing. Which, with all of these, it's kind of hard to have a favorite, but this is my favorite. Okay. I learned about this brand uh, from Mogi Beth. Um, you might know her if you're watching this. You've most likely been watching her for a while. Uh, she actually came out with a 50 Bolo brand list. Um, and that is where it's, by the way, it's a free like PDF. You can go to her website. This is not an ad for her, but it's like mogibeth.com. 
and you can put in your email and she'll send you a free PDF. Uh, it's beautifully laid out and written of 50 Bolo brands that you should be on the lookout for. And this is one of them. Okay, let me go ahead and show you the brand. It is called Doen. Uh-oh, uh-oh. D-O-E-N. Okay, so this sweater is wool and alpaca. It's got a bishop sleeve, right? Just a gorgeous black sweater. Okay, do yourself a favor, uh, just like Aviator Nation, go to Poshmark and look up Doen, D-O-E-N, not to be confused with Dolen, which is an um, anthropology brand that I don't really pick up. And just look at the comps for a sweater. Guys, I have this listed at 250, I think, and that was comparable to what was on there. 250. They specialize in kind of like really cottage core sweaters and dresses. All of their stock photos are like out in a meadow or I think this one literally has this beautiful girl who's like in front of a lake with like a decrepit old ship behind her but it's just gorgeous. They look like they're out on the fjord. Um, check this brand out. <laughs> this was another one of those where I was freaking out in the consignment store. So I did pay up for this, but not crazy. I mean, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a Veronica Beard blazer where I'm paying 60 or $80. No, I mean, I don't like to list my cost of goods, but it was under 40, it was under $40. I'm gonna make quite a profit with this. I'm gonna be looking out for this brand forever. This is one of my favorite brands to get in dresses in general. I have quite a few. I believe I got this one um, either from Thread Up or The Real Real. And if you don't know about those, they are online consignment stores. The Real Real is for luxury brands. Uh, Thread Up is for everything else, including luxury brands. Um, and they have really good sales. Like a lot of times, The Real Real will just have uh, 60 to 80 percent off all women, all women's clothes. So you know. I could get a dress for $50 that retails for hundreds of dollars and flip it for $100, $150, $200, $250. Uh, so I love that. And one of my favorite brands to do that with is ALC. And if you don't know, uh, this brand was created by Andrea Lieberman, who used to be a celebrity stylist. And then she started her own brand. Um, I Like I said, I have quite a few of her dresses. This one is just a really simple mini dress. Sorry, it's getting kind of washed out with my lights. Um, it's just got a diagonal ruffle here with kind of like a rough uh, hem. It's kind of cool, just a plain back. I just liked how this one was really simple. Um, it has kind of like a mint green tone to it as well. And you could just really dress this up or dress it down. Uh, I just loved it. Okay, now we are getting into the Valentine's Day portion. Uh, that's what I'm calling this. This is one of my favorite brands to sell, although I've only sold it once before, but it was a sweater duster cardigan, you know, like a floor length, um, and I sold it for $150. The brand is For Love and Lemons, and this one is a mini dress. Isn't that so cute? And in this light, it's doing great just it, it's this type of burnout fabric isn't that so cute so it's got a ladder stitch here goes down here and then the back I love how burnout fabric is like shiny like that wouldn't that be perfect for Valentine's Day it's got bell sleeves isn't that so cute so I love that one. Definitely got this, um, I think I want to say at Buffalo Exchange. Continuing the Valentine's Day. Okay, can you guess what brand this is? This brand makes dresses that are <laughs> like this. Very cottage core, very, uh, a lot of them are bodycon, really sexy, but sweet. Maybe you have guessed it. It's Reformation. 
I just love their very simple tag. Uh, they don't need to be too showy with their tag. Um, you probably know that Reformation sells really well. Uh, the comps on this one were amazing. Over 150 for this guy with the beautiful, um, what are those, roses maybe? Yeah, that looks like a rose. This beautiful rose pattern with uh, these little kind of cups. And it has a back zip and these adorable ties. They're true ties, so you'd want a double knot for sure unless you have a wardrobe malfunction. So pretty with the ruffle on the bottom. Love that one. Also got this at a buy sell trade. This one, one of my favorite brands. I love bold colors. Um, <laughs> ironically, it's not something you see a ton with this brand. The all white and again with the burnout fabric like the For Love and Lemons dress. The brand is Farm. Farm Rio is what I like to call it. And look at that tag, by the way. I just love their tags. So pretty. And look, this is actually a jumpsuit. It's kind of cropped. And this has a really good stock photo, which I was kind of on the fence with this. Because um, I don't love photographing things that are all white because I photograph on my wall and then I use an app that cuts out the background. So it's hard for that app to detect something that's also white. But this one was for a really good price. So I decided to go for it. Check out the pattern too. I love at the bottom it's got these butterflies. Look at that. And another thing that is good about um, things that are all white is that people can get them for when they're getting married, you know, to wear with their bachelorette or, you know, the rehearsal dinner or photos. you got to have a few different all white uh, options when you're getting married. So I always like to put those keywords in there. So I just loved this and I hope it won't be too difficult to sell because the size is XXS petite. So it's for a small person, but it doesn't look that small. Like it looks pretty roomy. So I always add measurements. I'll add measurements. And I'm sure someone who is just a small could probably wear this, honestly. The next in the Valentine's Day group is a Lulu's. Our old mainstay, Lulu's. There you go. So Lulu's doesn't retail for as much as these other brands, but if you get a good piece, it sells quickly and for a decent amount. Um, and they make a lot of really good dresses, especially for like uh, bridesmaids and stuff like that. So this one is a maxi, this like wine Cabernet colored velvet. Look at that. It's completely open in the back that gorgeous with the long sleeves and then in the front I don't know if you can tell it's got this slit really high slit oh wouldn't you feel just so pretty wearing this I just love this I had to bring it home with me and it was actually for a really good price at a consignment store I don't know what is with Lulu's but probably three quarters of the dresses I find of Lulu's are still new with tag. I don't know why that is. Let me know if you find the same thing. Um, I have two other Lulu's in this haul that are both new with tags. The last piece in the Valentine's Day theme is this. The brand I'll just show you first is Free People Beach. You probably know that Free People has their main line, then they have Free People Movement, and then Intimately Free People, and they also have Beach. This one is so pretty though. It's a pale pink with the ruffle, uh, what do they call it, like a flounce or a flutter sleeve, and a square back. But then look, the whole thing is just tiered with a slit at the bottom in the middle, just tiered all the way down with these ruffles and the buttons, real buttons, 
all the way down. Uh, they had this um, for half off at the consignment store, and it does have, I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd call it flaws, but it just kind of has some general kind of pilling on it, but it, the whole thing is kind of feathered, pinkish, whitish, so it's hard to tell. Uh, so this is, uh, where's the tag? Lulu's again. Lulu tag! This is just a really sleek, streamlined v-neck cross back and a jumpsuit wide leg cobalt blue jumpsuit um one of my friends wore a jumpsuit like this actually to my wedding i think it might have been red but i just remember noticing how just chic that she looked like everybody else was in you know frilly dresses um you know typical wedding stuff and then she was just in a solid color just jumpsuit that fit her really well and it crisscrossed in the back and it reminds me so much um this one reminds me so much of that and i could definitely see someone wearing this um to a wedding as a guest next up is this um free people it is free people yes if you don't know by now what the free people tag looks like it's this little brass thingamajig with the uh, tag going down. It's a size small, and so basically it's like a halter, this army green halter jumpsuit with like cargo pockets. Um, I honestly don't know if I would have picked this up if it wasn't on such, if it didn't have such a good price. And luckily it does have a really cute stock photo. And I think this is just the right mix of comfortable, easy. I could definitely see it um, being worn just on a weekend day at the grocery store or to the park even. Next. So besides the Doan and the Aviator Nation, uh, this is probably my favorite, my most exciting find. Um, I'd like you to try to guess this brand. If you're a reseller, you probably have a pretty good educated guess what this is maxi very 70s and did you see this arm this bell sleeve is bigger than my apartment look at that so you might have guessed that it is if you can see it spell and it's i know it's hard to see but it is spell and the gypsy love it we we love this brand pretty much as long as the price is good buy this brand no matter what it is i just sold some uh pants the other day that were just like comfortable wide leg tie waist pants i sold those for i want to say like 80 dollars. this is so gorgeous look at this 70s print and this is one of those items where not only does it have a great stock photo it has like 10 great stock photos because it's just carried by Revolve and Shopbop and net porte like, you know, and they all take different, their own photos and they're all amazing. So I had to like use a collage app so I could fit just all the photos that I could find, but it's so pretty. And this is an extra small, like, of course, right? But I don't think that's going to really hinder me from being able to sell this fast. And I have this listing all ready to go. Just need to take photographs. Okay, here is our last Lulu's. So new with tag, even though I'm not sure what happened to this tag. Uh, it looks like it was not on by a pack of wolves, right? But it still counts. Lulu's, this is a size extra large, which is one of the reasons that tipped me over the edge of getting it. It is a wrap dress the bottom it's asymmetrical it's longer in the back than it is the front and it's just this gorgeous blue and orange which are complementary colors if you did not know on the color wheel just like red and green blue and orange so gorgeous and the stock photo looks amazing um, I feel like this dress is one of those that of course pretty flowers okay but from far away there's just something about <laughs> I don't know. 
it looks so really cute from far away too. It looks like an abstract, gorgeous pattern. Uh, so I just absolutely loved this one. This, I was about to leave. My back hurt. I actually threw my back out um, the day before this, but I still went uh, thrifting like all day because I'm addicted to it. This, guys. Okay. Peasant top, right? We got maxi dress. But look, it's open in the front. And there's a bodysuit. Can you see? There's a bodysuit inside. And it ties here in the front. And all over it has these gorgeous floral sequin embroidery. Here's the back. Let me get out of the way. Here's the back design. Look at that. And it's very long. It's one of those that just has the fabric is like never ending on it. You're like, where's the front? Where's the back? It's so much fabric. Uh, I believe this is called the Bali Stevie Festival bodysuit. And yeah, I could definitely see someone wearing this to a festival. Are you kidding me? Like the bodysuit and then you've got the open front of your skirt. So you're just rocking your legs out completely. And then it's got this tie that at the bottom has these like tassels. I don't even know what you would call those, but look, look at that bodysuit underneath. And I don't know if I'm gonna call it new with tag because it it doesn't have like the manufacturer's tag that has like the price and all that but it does have this still attached and with extra sequins so I don't know I might call it new with tag um, it just says this beautiful handcrafted style is made by the artisans in Bali each piece is unique and may have slight variations due to the hand process. So I've never seen a three people piece uh, say that before. Oh, I forgot to mention this is actually intimately three people. Yep, and it's a size large too. I was just kind of assuming that this would be an extra small, um, but it's a large and that's so great because there are no larges um, online on Poshmark anyway. Um, and they also make this in black but I believe the only sizes I saw were small and extra small. So uh, this did not cost me much at all. I, I was amazed, I was freaking out. I love it so much. If I had a festival to go to, pff, forget it, it's over. Okay, we're almost done. I hope you've had fun. Check this out. It is a denim jumpsuit. Our friend a Goldie I saw this and I was like what it's just so cute it's like super 80s pockets and these buttons right here which come undone if you want and then pockets in the back with this elastic waistband it is flawless great condition it's got buttons here you can roll up the sleeves how cute is this I just, honestly, I didn't even check comps. The price was good enough. I did pay up for it a little, um, but I just knew I wanted to have this. I love a Goldie so much. And when I saw this much a Goldie, <laughs> all this denim, I was like, yes, come into my shoulder bag. I didn't have a cart, but my shoulder bag. Okay, and last item. <laughs> this may be the least exciting, but just because it's a good brand, I wanted to include it. This is the brand L-Space, which is a swim brand. And this was new with tag. It's called the Charlie Bottom. Very simple, but I think these were selling just the bottom alone for like 35 or 40. So it's great. And there is something to be said uh, for having different brands in your closet that will bring in a different clientele. Um, I don't have any swimwear in my closet, so bringing this in you know, someone comes for swimwear and they might stick around for something else. So it's always a good idea if you can afford it to have a different brand in there. So guys, I honestly really hope that you enjoyed this. 
I was really nervous, but I'm so happy to get the first one out of the way. There will be many other hauls in the future. I really hope that you'll at least like this video. Give it the thumbs up. I guess I'll see you around. So thank you so much. Like, I brushed the bottom and not the top.